Okay, uh, this is Mr. Romers with a sixth grade math lesson. We're gonna look at lesson 11 where we're going to simplify and also regroup fractions. So the first type of fraction that we're gonna simplify is gonna be improper fractions. So an improper fraction is when you have a fraction that numerator is greater than the denominator. So the numerator is greater than the denominator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove whole number groups from the numerator of the improper fraction. And this process, we're just gonna call this simplifying. Simplifying the fraction. So what does that look like? Well, if we have threes here, has the denominator and we have eight on top, what we're seeing is that eight is greater than three, so we could actually make some whole numbers. We make a whole number by taking three out of three out of the fraction. So three out of three would give us one whole number, but we also have another whole number. So there's eight, so we got three, and then there's another three. Three plus three is six, plus two would be eight. So what that's saying is we have a whole number here, three out of three, we have another whole number here, three out of three, and then we have a fraction left over. So that's one whole number, two whole numbers. So eight thirds, when you simplify it, we could actually make two, and then there's gonna be two left over out of three. And so that would be two and two thirds. So the way we do, um, this is the modeling of it, where these whole numbers are coming out. But the way we can do this is actually we can improper fractions. We can simplify them by dividing and then subtracting. So the simplified fraction of a whole number is called a mixed number, where we have a whole number and a fraction together, they're mixed. So what does that look like? Well, the top of the fraction here is gonna be going inside long division, and then the bottom number is going to go outside of long division to see how many we have, uh, how many twos we can take out of nine. So what does that look like? Well, we have nine divided by two. So we just look at how many twos we have. Uh, oh, the teacher can help us out with this. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Well, we don't have ten, we only have nine. So the largest, the multiple that we can take is four. So we can take four whole numbers out of nine when we divide by two. And so four times two is eight. And then that is going to be our fraction remainder left over. Nine minus eight is one. So this number up here, four, is actually the whole number. We have four whole numbers that we can take out of this fraction. And then we're left with one out of two as the divisor. There's one over two or one half as a divisor. And we would actually put this up here with the remainder of one out of two. Now with the same process here, we're going to divide and subtract to simplify improper fractions. Well, if we had a mixed number, we could actually go back around and do two times four plus one, and we would get nine and change it back into an improper fraction. So whole numbers can be uh, made in, whole numbers can be made into whole number groups and then put back into the improper fraction. So what does that look like? So here we have three as the denominator, and this says we have two whole numbers, which would be three out of three is one whole number and then another three out of three as a whole number, and then we have one. 
So here's one whole number, here's two whole numbers, and then here is one third. So just to represent here, so we have two whole numbers and then one third is a fraction. Well, how is that gonna look as an improper fraction? Well, three plus three is six, plus one is seven, seven thirds. So two and one third is actually equal to seven thirds. So mixed numbers can be regrouped by multiplying the denominator by the whole number and then adding the numerator to make it back into an improper fraction. So how does that look? So we got, we're gonna start here with the denominator and then loop it around in a process. So two times four will give us the parts for out of the whole number. We're gonna take the whole number, turn it back into parts, and then add the numerator, and that would give us our improper fraction. So two times four is eight plus one, and that's still over two. Two times four is eight plus one, and that's going to be nine over two. So if we go back up and check, nine halves, when we divide and subtract, we're gonna end up with four and one half. And then when we multiply and add, eight plus one is nine, and then it's over halves. So these check out, and that is how we uh, simplify and regroup.